Hey guys, it's Jennifer Smith Joshin from Smith Curriculum Consulting, and I'm here to show you how I set up the Rational Numbers and Operations Unit for my seventh grade interactive notebook. As you can see, the cover page is simply just decorated to show that this is Unit 1 in their notebook. You could also do your table of contents on this cover page for each unit, and I can link you down below to a freebie that I have available. The next two pages in each unit are where I do the Freyer models for the interactive notebook for that unit. And under each Freyer model, it, or under each flap, is the completed Freyer model with the definition, characteristics, example, and non-example. And I make sure that my students use mathematical non-examples and not just random non-examples. The first lesson in this unit is one that I've done for quite some time now, and it's converting rational numbers. You'll see the six flap shutter fold over here and underneath each one of them, the students have to cut and glue down the steps to do that conversion as well as the example that goes along with it. And on the output section, uh, you will see that the students complete the table of fraction, decimal and percent conversions. And then they have a sort to complete. And in this sort, there are these little three piece puzzles that go together. There's a fraction, a decimal, and a percent. And they can manipulate them to which ones match. So there's, oh, there's two that go together. Oh, these three go together. Okay, so here, here. Oh, this one goes in the middle. And here. So those three puzzle pieces would go together to complete that sort. And then I just have my students sort, store them in these little envelopes that I got at Big Lots when invitations went on clearance. That way they can redo the sort whenever they choose. The next lesson is classifying rational numbers and on the real number system. And you can see here this full court shutter flippable opens up to contain all the notes for this lesson as well as a chart that the students have color coded to the different types of numbers. Uh, and the reason we'll sh for that will show up on the output. But then within each part, they have examples that go with the different types of sets and subsets. On the output, you can see where the color coding shows up better. So the st these are all in this little square format to where they're all connected together. And I have each of my students go through and color each of the numbers wherever they are on that format first according to their color coding that they've done. And then it makes it to where when they cut them all out at the end, they can easily glue them down in the right places. Just a little tip. The next lesson is adding rational numbers with the same and different signs. So the notes are on top and then some practice problems on bottom. Again, notes on top, practice problems on bottom, and then even more room for practice below. And then the output is this little pinwheel flippable to where they just write their answers, show their work underneath, just like that. And then we move on to subtracting rational numbers with the same and different signs, just some cute little notes on the side, highlighting important words, then the notes underneath, more highlighting. I like to do that to show pop. You can see that I use the yellow highlighter here to match the yellow. Again, I just do that to help me flow along. And again, another practice pinwheel, and just write the information below. The next one is multiplying rational numbers, and underneath this, uh, what I call a window flippable, um, is students will glue in if a positive times a positive is a positive, and then create two examples. A positive times a negative is a negative, a negative times a positive is a negative, and a negative times a negative is a positive. And then talk about how multiplication is the same as repeated addition and how they can show on a number line and just a review of what the community property is. And the output activity with about this is called all about the positive or negative. And students are rolling a die and they need a paper clip. And they're basically just trying to make it around the circle. It's kind of fun. The next activity is dividing rational numbers. Again, positive and negative symbols. So it talks about if they have different signs, if they have same signs, and examples for each. 
And then there's the dividing rational numbers practice flippable. And underneath each, they solve the problem and check the problem using inverse operations. So there we go. And the next thing that comes up is problem solving with adding and subtracting. And this is where these two problems deal with adding. These two problems deal with subtracting. We talk about when you add in real life and when you subtract in real life. And underneath each problem, they are completely solved. You can see these are using the technical reading strategies that they have prior learned. So that's enforcing those strategies. Right there. And then the output activity for this is they're planning an upcoming party. And so this is completely up to them. They have to decide with the budget of $200, how are they going to feed these 20 people, including themselves? And they go through step by step. It's kind of fun. And then now we have problem solving with multiplication and division. The same format as the one the prior, multiplying in real life, dividing in real life, the problems with solutions underneath. All the technical reading strategies are shown. And then the follow-up is describe a real, real world situation that can be represented by the quotient negative 85 divided by 15. Then find the quotient and explain what the quotient means in terms of the real world situation. So I hope you enjoyed this little update on how I set up unit one. If you're wanting to see unit two or any of the other following units, those videos are available in my photo gallery online for seventh grade. So if you own the 7th grade interactive notebook, you can see those videos as well. Thanks!